So uh, this video is about uh, making a spacer to uh, allow your uh, small engine to run a uh, platinum type spark plug. Uh, I haven't been able to find any platinum plugs that will fit like uh, this uh, old uh, 5 horse Briggs here. But let me digress for a minute. Uh, it's been a while since I made a Zontar video so we'll just uh, switch over to, to that for a minute. Anyway, uh, so uh, some town here uh, got some complaints from the neighbors about all the smoke and corruption my 70 snowblower's been kicking out. So I've decided to uh, upgrade its performance by installing a platinum spark plug. And I have to make a spacer to do this. Okay, so I got that out of my system now. So back to normal. <clears throat> Anyways, just having a little fun there. So, like I say, the the object here, I got a uh, five horse uh, Briggs engine that's a bit of an oil burner, and uh, it likes to uh, really foul the plug up. Uh, this isn't the plug out of it here. This is just one I've used for painting, etc. But uh, it gives you an idea what the regular spark plug looks like there. And then here's a fairly common uh, platinum uh, type spark plug. As you can see, it's got. Uh, two and a half times as long a thread length on it so that's going to cause us some grief now there's a couple ways you can approach this um, this type of plug and the normal Briggs plug uses a uh, uh, gasket on it there but uh, my son actually did this uh, uh, first time a few years ago he used a, uh, a small uh, in this case it's a Bosch spark plug but it, it has the uh, tapered seat um, so he made this uh, uh, spacer here, did that on a lathe, it's about one inch diameter and uh, to clear the threads, um, 9 16 drill bit, you could go smaller than that but uh, I, it's a common drill bit size. Um, so I've tried to duplicate it here, I just had some quarter inch aluminum plate so I uh, drilled holes in it and then uh, drilled the 9 16 and then uh, countersank it. I actually used a 3 quarters to go in a little bit to get the proper uh, depth that I needed but uh, countersink the, the seat there so that it'll uh, meet up to the, the seat on the spark plug and give you a good seal and of course it has to be flat on the bottom side since that where it will, that's where it will uh, sit on your uh, spark plug uh, mounting surface on the cylinder head. Uh, the other important thing you got to do get to mark the spark plug where the electrode sits, the ground electrode because uh, it's important that you clock it correctly. Now that means the you can't have the ground electrode by the intake valve or the intake valve will hit it at least on these uh, these five horse Briggs's. The reason is the spark plug sits uh, right about where my finger is there and as you can see the intake valve opens up a fair amount and it will uh, hit your spark plug. So you have, to, uh, you have to have it clocked right and in this case when the head goes on the, it's over here pointing this direction away from the inlet valve which sits uh, over here. So there's a little bit of uh, engineering involved in this, but um, it does indeed work because uh, this one here is out of a uh, five-horse uh, Briggs on our go-kart, and it's been uh, running fine with uh, the platinum plug. A um, little bit of work to, to build these, but like I say, if you had... Uh, one inch diameter uh, aluminum you could uh, machine one up or I just use quarter inch plate and a hacksaw and uh, drills and a countersink and and it uh, worked fine and to get it to uh, the clock correctly uh, you would uh, file uh, it down so the the plug uh, you know you as you tighten it you get your get it so that it aims the correct direction by uh, adjusting the thickness of the spacer so anyway just wanted to uh, show everybody that little idea that we come up with there to uh, uh, apply 
newer spark plug technology on these uh, older engines that uh, have uh, you know a lot more shallow thread depth so give you an idea to test out if you want but like I say you just have to be be careful with it there and, and get the spark plug clocked correctly oh everybody have a good one